Yakima es un lugar de contrastes. Y luego, luego surgió la otra voz. Y así se fue armando una especie de cadena, una especie de conexión. Yo siempre que hago esto, sé, no sé qué va a pasar, no sé qué va a suceder. Todavía no hacíamos la primera línea del proyecto y ya iban a la mitad. <risa> o sea, imagínate. Mi nombre es José Luis Soto González y soy pintor muralista de, de las últimas generaciones que quedan porque el muralismo en México pues ya casi es una profesión en, en extinción. Hay una metodología distinta a como lo hacían los muralistas famosos de México. Ellos agarraban la historia, la filosofía, los libros y directamente la decían en los muros. Pero eso hemos visto por muchos años que el pueblo mexicano se ha quedado silencioso, no comprende o no puede explicar esos murales. Y aquí lo que queremos es que hasta un niño lo pueda explicar y que lo pueda disfrutar. My name is David Blink. I'm the director of music here at YBCC, and I also serve as the president of the Yakima Morelia Sister City Association. We've been experimenting with the, this idea of cultural exchange and using music as a platform for that. Three years ago, we um, opened up this art connection, also bringing um, an artist, Javier Lopez Ortiz, who 10 years ago, when the Sister City first started, actually came here for a two-week residency and did workshops um, throughout the valley. And so we brought him back 10 years later to do these art workshops. This year, we decided to try to mix it up, and we've been great friends with Jose Luis Soto um, through all the years of the Sister City delegations, and we've always loved his artwork. And it was really, this year was the idea of going, let's try to now, we've had two years of art outreach, let's try to grow this a little bit more and see if maybe we can do a community mural idea. has happened so uh, organically and um, kind of amazingly uh, synchronous uh, where we showed up, met each other, spoke for uh, five minutes and then got maybe a, a lecture about his process and within an hour we're sitting around in a circle um, composing a poem together. And that just came about through I don't know, like maybe 10 people sitting in a circle, bringing in sketches that we did on our own uh, and, and putting them together. And, and surprisingly, I would say that every single sketch that people did in response to the poem that we made, somehow or another had a connection or a tie uh, that wasn't planned. La pintura espontánea y rápida se hace al calor del fuego y, y vámonos y córrete. Pero él, el que lo hizo, o los que lo hicieron, se desahogan ellos. Yo no vengo a hacer mi mural. El mural ya existe en el corazón de todos estos jóvenes. Y lo que yo vengo a hacer es ayudar a sacar ese mural. Está correcto. Muy bien. Como él empezó, fue... Um, Tuvimos una junta y pretty much nos empezó a preguntar cómo nos sintemos de Yakima. So, todo lo que estamos, los símbolos que nos puso a hacer es del corazón de nosotros. La mía fue la fruta, que es la cherry y la manzana, porque yo desde muy pequeña, desde 10, 12, 13, 14 años, yo anduve trabajando con mis padres de inmigrantes en la manzana, en el espárrago y todo eso. So, eso salió de mí. My grandpa is half Yakima and half Filipino, and my grandma is also half Yakima and half Nez Perce. I got to paint the heart, which was a big deal for me because it's the heart of the painting, you know, it, the heart of, I'm trying to represent the heart of Yakima. My family is from Michoacan. I was born in Colima, 
and um, I decided to participate in the mural because I found it was like a way to like really find like empowerment or like really appreciate my culture and be able to like express it in a positive way. I've been in Yakima for a good part of my life for 14 years and I've just been around a lot of the culture here. Just um, I'm part Indian, I'm part Native American, so it kind of brings it all together. So Yakima is a good, big part of where I come from. My inspiration to do this heart was my family, my parents, I actually made it because I found my grandma dead. <laughs> and I had to make it. We put our feelings into it, and I put my feelings into my art. Whether I'm painting or drawing or, or ceramics, whatever you make, whatever I make, I make, I make it with lots of inspiration, and I put my heart into it. <laughs> no pun intended. Yakima. Tierra Sagrada. Yakima es un lugar de contrastes, es un lugar pequeño de calor y de frío, de orgullo y pertenencia, de alegría, rodeado del verde de la naturaleza. Es un valle rodeado de montañas sagradas, lugar para familias que representan diferentes culturas, de agricultores y de campesinos. Yakima es hogar, es familia, es de una belleza sencilla y sin igual. Es divertida, ciudad hermana de Morelia señorial. Esto va a ser un puente entre Yakima y los pueblos purépechas de Michoacán. Probablemente sea el inicio de la pinacoteca de las ciudades hermanas. My name is Noé Gutierrez and I was born in Carlsbad, New Mexico. I came to Yakima, Washington in 1968. One of the things that I noticed that when we came up here that there wasn't um, a whole lot for the Hispanic people to know more about their, their roots and their culture. What I found enlightening since we joined Sister City, it's been 16 years actually we're celebrating now. Here, the Yaka must have been great, really gracious with us. And um, now they're visiting Michoacán. They're starting to connect and see that they really have common ground and a lot of things in, in, in common. I felt that when this organization was formed, that it would be a good a avenue to probably bring our communities in our own town together. And, uh, and it has. Se trata de hermanar civilizaciones de romper fronteras, de meternos al corazón del hermano Yakima, del ciudadano y de los campesinos que vienen de, de México. Y creo que aquí está latiendo algo. El corazón que está por ahí nos está diciendo que, que algo está pasando, algo está hermanando. During this process, I found out that they composed almost like a poem um, that was in English and Spanish that was really the theme or the heart of what this mural is about. And so I was tasked with having some of these guest musicians that we have for the festival. Let's create um, a song that's going to go along with this. So um, we had Carlos Cascante, who's a Costa Rican Grammy Award winner, salsa singer, Memo Acevedo, um, great percussionist from Colombia, also Canada and New York, he's in New York now. John Sanders, um, who is a community college teacher at Edmonds Community College. And then Flavio Menezes, um, who's a guitarista um, who lives in Morelia. So it was an experimenting of about 45 minutes of just kind of seeing how this um, composition really comes to life and what, what direction it's taking. This mural right here is a seed for something that could be much bigger, much grander outdoor space where we do truly bring the community together and create something that would take multiple weeks, even a month to create. Este apenas es el principio 
de cómo, cómo nace un volcán, perdón, cómo nace un mural. Muchas gracias. 